Hi, I'm Nico Kelly, aka Bootleg Rockstar, and this is The Lookbook. I'm so nervous to see this. Oh, oh my God. So, uh, this one. I think I went to the, the YVAs. It was my first time at the YVAs. I was styling Nadine Sutherland. And funny enough, I wasn't supposed to go. So I was, so my usual stylist attire is a black sweatshirt or a black t-shirt, black um, slacks, pants, sweatpants, and of course, Converse. So I was like, Nadine, I can't accompany you. She was like, you have to come because I need you there. I need, I, I need the, the, the confidence boost. So I just threw on an oversized blazer and a cap backwards and I went onto the runway and it was a look and I tied the scarf on my belt loop and I love this so much. It's very, if you think of like a classic bootleg rockstar look, this is that. Do you think YVA should come back? I think YVA should come back because we need our own. We need, youths need something to look forward to and to to aspire to and I feel like YVA was such a such a good time of just like unity and creatives and musicians and people who wanted to get into social media so I would love for YVA to come back please come back YVA rebrand and come back stronger I love that oh you guys want to get me emotional this photo um so funny enough i had covid so i couldn't get to go and accept my prime minister youth award which i was the first stylist to win that um so i couldn't get to go in person to accept my award so i had to just you know i'm extra i had to do a shoot to post when it was time to post this was such a big moment for me for my family for my journey for my career and i felt so sad but so, you know, great at the same time. Um, my dad was not here to, to witness this. He always dream, dreamt bigger for me than I dreamt for myself. Anybody who know a biggie knows a biggie, walk around and brag about Nico all the time. So I had to somehow involve him in this moment. And I took a photo of him when he was younger because I love this photo. He looks like me, well, I look like him a lot in the photo. So, yeah, and this is my little little homage to him for everything he has done for me because without him, I would not be here. I would not be bootleg rockstar, believe it or not. So, yeah, we got Biggie all the while. How did it feel being awarded the Prime Minister Youth Award? Oh my God, that was just something. Let's compare it to like a CFDA fashion icon award. That was, this is the pinnacle because the Prime Minister Youth, Youth Award is the highest national honor for anyone in Jamaica under the age of 30. So that was just mind blowing. And to know that being a stylist could, could give me such a prestigious award, is just like never heard of because we think that styling is so shallow and, and nothing can come of it. But you can make a lucrative, amazing, impactful career out of being a stylist. It's not just fancy stuff, it's not just gl um, glitz and glamour, it's real hard work and you can impact culture, you can impact lives and you can shape communities. So it was, it, it's, it's, it's one of the moments of my life and I'm grateful for it. Thank you to everyone who was a part of just like contributing to me as a creative because it takes a village because everything you see that says style to rock is not just me it's the photographer it's a makeup artist it's a stylist it's a grip person every single person on set contributed to my success and i'm grateful and i thank you guys so much for that what do we have next oh this is so good oh of course converse oh so converse so it was National Sneakers Day and 
I posted just a collage of or, or, or a slide of my Converse's on Instagram and I tagged Converse and they reposted it in their story. Anyone who knows me knows my signature footwear is Converse. Like that's my, I don't go anywhere without a Converse on, you know, clearly. When I posted it, uh, influencer marketer from Converse, like the head, message member like hey we'd love to send you some sneakers you look like you have a lot of sneakers and i said whoa okay yes i do and he sent me a photo of his shoe stand with all his converses and i sent him a photo of my shoe stand with all my converses and he's like i work at converse so you have way more converse than i do and he's like no we gotta send you some stuff asap so they sent me six converses right they asked me to choose the converses of my choice and i only picked two that i want in this and i told them to send whatever else because i don't want to be greedy but when they sent it i was like oh gosh this is just a moment finally a brand that i've represented that i've that i've included in my in my look in my brand has reached out to me and 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 and, and, and they gave me converses and they continue to give me because they gave me a second batch and they're going to give me a third batch so thank you converse i love converse and this outfit oh my god God. By the way, I shot this photo at my home. I just wanted a very clean, edgy street style look. So yeah, shout out to Converse. Oh God, you guys are finding the photos. Oh my God. So this is a photo of me at DHL. It's my first ever time shipping my, 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 my skincare product, Rockstar Beauty, that was birthed out of just like years of experimentation and just like always having good skin. Um, and it was such a good, proud moment for me to actually see my hard work packaged and being purchased and appreciated and respected um this outfit I, I bought these pants oh my god i had these pants for three years before i even wore them i bought them at fierce by dre no lie not fierce by dre i bought them at the trends in half a tree at bargain mall they got the good stuff i love them um and of course my signature black t-shirt um yeah this was this was a very proud moment and i had to snap a photo and thank you to everybody who's been supporting rockstar beauty it's coming back i promise it's coming back so rockstar beauty um it's clean it's natural ingredients i started it with a certified cosmetic chemist from mandeville he made all the products um we did years of testing actually because it's not no I'm not trying to hop on a trend of, of skincare or wave. I actually am very invested in it. So I took time to really craft it. I wanted it to not only represent and be about skin, but I wanted to represent a community of people who might have felt like their skin that they're in um, didn't matter whether you're from the LGBTQ community, whether you have vitiligo, whether you have skin burns, whether you feel like you're too overweight, you're too underweight. I wanted my skincare brand to, re to represent more than just skin, but represent individuality or skin individuality. So. I'm very proud of this brand that I've created and I hope for it to grow and just become something that is from Jamaica, made by a Jamaican and we all appreciate it. So yes, the anxiety, what's next, what's next? Okay, so, Beanie Man's album cover. This moment for me as a stylist, as Nico Kelly and not even just as bootleg rock star. It's just, it feels very full circle. Before I even get into the, to the outfit, let me just get into the sentiment of this. My dad is the reason why I love music and he, he raised me on the Barry Salmon, the Bujos, the Glenn Washington, the Lucianos, the Beanie Mans. And anyone who knows me, before I even started working with Beanie Man, I was a big fan, big, big fan. I think he's just brilliant. And then working with him now, I can say the same. He's a brilliant, amazing, hardworking man. His nickname for me is Sugarfoot, because <laughs> he always says, walk to bossy. <laughs> so that's his nickname for me. Um, so we shot this three years ago, actually, um, for his album, Sima. His team reached out to me and they were like, 
we need an album cover for Beanie Man. Something strong, something, something that felt, feels like he has never done it before. And immediately, the idea of Moses and biblical references came to mind because Moses is actual real name. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I was like, oh, he's the greatest of all time. And I paused and I said, wait, Moses the goat. And so I was like, let me, let me just, let me just put all the ingredients together and create something that I feel like is going to be iconic, not just only to him, but to me as a stylist and to everybody involved. And I went to Enigma, um, got the suit, went to my to my go-to designer, Katie and Nicely. She made the, the, the robe, which was very, which was a homage to the original idea or visual of Moses, the biblical Moses. And we shot this in, in, in Montego Bay. Lex and Art, the amazing, brilliant Lex and Art shot this. And we i feel like we did something iconic i don't like to use that word iconic because i feel like i should not label myself or think that i do iconic people should should do that but i can confidently say that this is iconic and this is a moment for me and i'll forever hold this near and dear to my heart and big up beanie man the doctor the king period my darling Nadine, oh, and listen, Nadine is one of those clients that becomes family. She's family now to me. She's a big sister, my mom, my aunt, my bestie. I love her. She's, she's just, she's just brilliant. This photo shot by Camille Peart, um, makeup by Pat Adolphus. Molding the top is by Shop Denali and the skirt is by Katie and Nicely. I was very intentional with this photo. I actually this photo is a, is a is a kickstart to a series that I call honoring Jamaican icons because I love to honor my Jamaican homegrown creatives because I feel like. Um, we're not celebrated enough. And actually this idea came when Lee Scratch Perry died and all the visuals of him were from overseas creatives. I did not see one photo of him with a Jamaican photographer, stylist, or anybody being credited and that was very disheartening. So I was like, you know what? Let me give these icons their flowers, but the best way I know how, um, through styling, through creative direction, through photos. And I tapped Nadine and I was like, I want you to kickstart this because you are a queen. And she was down for it, we shot this, and I want it to be iconic to her, and I think it will be um, when, when we look back at it, and not just to her, but to my generation of creatives, as I was very intentional about incorporating Keneal and Pat and Denali and Katie and people who have lifted me in my career and gave me the tools, the outfits, the looks um, to really be bootleg rockstar, award-winning stylist and creative director. So yes, you guys really dig deep with these photos. I love it. Oh, my baby Sharika Jackson. So... This was her going to the Distinguished Women Gala. And uh, guys, I have to fight Sherika every single time I'm styling her. Like, she's so scared to try new stuff, but I can't blame her because she's coming from, from a life of spikes, not just like athleisure wear, and to take her from literally track wear to, 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 to high fashion is was a big jump. But that's you know, that's me. That's I love to I love to scare people with fashion a little bit. Um, this blue dress was made by Cochin. Shout out to Cochin, um, the Cochin experience. And this was us doing a photo um, before before we went to the event. Because one thing with me, I love to have content. I believe in great content. And so for Sharika, every single time, most of my clients are always arranged for a photo shoot um, to, be, to be done right before they head out to the event because I believe in proper photos and I love to capture these moments. You know, eventually I want to put these moments into like a coffee table book or something to, you know, to, to, to show the little work that I've done, you know? Kids or grandkids will see it eventually. But this blue dress was to die for on her. She has the body of a goddess. She knows how to rock 
anything. She just she just needs to believe it. And I think she believes now and it's great working with her and I love her so much. So so much. Love her. So now on to Valiant. So I started styling Valiant for Digicel and he is a jokester. He's so hilarious on set that you can't help but to laugh. Um, this outfit, we, we, well, this, this photo um, is a photo that we took on the set of Digicel. They had a summer promotion and Digicel said we want something summery. We want Digicel colors, of course, and we want him to look young and fresh that he is um so i felt like this outfit was perfect my assistant for the day steven stevie who he actually did the prep for this shoot for me and went and got the outfit he sent me photos i was like this is perfect and when we got him in the outfit and he walked out to the to the photo room literally everybody gasped and i'm like the power of fashion right there because it was it was such a different look for him and he loved it so much that he did not want to take it off so um this was a really a really cool style moment for him and i love styling commercials because they're so simple um they get to the point it doesn't rely heavily on on name brands they don't want no branding very cut and dry very to the point but still very intellectual you have to really think about the brand that you're styling the, and the client and try to merge those and still some way somehow try to make your styling aesthetic peek through so this was a really good moment for me for digital and for valiant and i think people really started to pay attention to him um, from this moment and i loved it yeah. on to the next let's see oh don't get these started the queen Davina, Miss Bennett, my muse, my babe, my sister. I love her so much. So, my first trip to to the to the Big Apple um, wouldn't be complete without linking with Davina because we've 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 imagined this moment for so long and just like linking up and just doing the doing, just strutting on the streets and just being the best fashion couple ever. This was us being the real life Barbie and Ken. We thought about this last minute because we were like, okay, Barbie Primer is coming up. Let's do something in, in ode to the Barbie movie. And we did this shot by a street photographer in New York. Um, he was really, really dope. We did this in like 30 minutes and it was the bomb. And even this look right here in the white, we just went out for brunch and we strutted on the streets of 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 new york and we got these amazing photos fun fact davina and i went to the same high school right i did not she was in like two she was like two grades below me i did not remember davina at high school but she remembered me so when she met me she was like, I know you're from high school. I'm like, which high school you went to? She was like, Clarendon College. I was like, wait, what? She's like, yeah, I remember you being very mouthy and, and bossy and sassy, walking down, shutting down the corridors. So I know that was, we were, we were meant to be. We were meant to be. And I love her. She's doing great things. I'm excited for her career. And I couldn't be any more proud of her. She is a real life doll, an amazing person. I love how we love each other. She brings me onto with her opportunities and I take her on, on mine. And this is a friendship that extends far beyond outfits and far beyond pictures and far beyond looks. She is my real life sister and I love her.